Hi friends, this is Mohammed Jibran and welcome to our C language tutorials. In this video, we will be writing a program to generate a Fibonacci series whose length has been given by the user. Okay, so let me first explain you what is a Fibonacci series. Fibonacci series is a series whose first number is 0, second number is 1 and the remaining numbers are obtained by adding to the two, num the two previous numbers like here the previous two numbers are 1 and 0 so when you add 1 and 0 your sum is again 1 then when you add the next previous two numbers are 1 and 1 so when you add them your sum is 2 then your previous two numbers are 1 and 2 when you add them your sum is 3 likewise this goes on 5 then you have 8 it the list goes on till you uh, till the length which user has given you again you can see it over here this is a Fibonacci series first you add 0 and 1 this value uh, you will be given in you will be giving directly in your program when you add 0 and 1 you get 1 then when you add these previous two numbers you get 2 when you add these two you get 3 then you add these two you get this 5 you add these two this one and then you add these two numbers you get this one like this the list goes on till you find the uh, end of your list which is defined by the user so let's now write a program for that for uh, Fibonacci series ok now you have I hope you have understand what does a Fibonacci series means so now let's try to write a program for it I need a integer n i c I will be requiring these three integers then I will require a equals 0 as my first value and b equal to 1 as my second value these two numbers will start our list then I will print to the user enter the length of the series so the length of the series will be given by the user over here and I will save that number which is an integer data type in n and n ok now I am saving that in my variable then after that I will print to the user the first two values which are a and b ok directly first I will print the values a and b like percent d percent d this will print me the first two values let me give some space between them ok then afterwards I will use a for loop for this which will begin on i i equal to 0 then uh, i should be less than n i should increment ok so what it should do it will repeat the sum of adding the numbers till the end of my list ok plus b then a should be replaced with the value of b and the b should be replaced with the value of c I will explain you how it works just a second get ch now our program ends over here so what I am doing over here is simply I am storing the value in n and uh, this is the length of my series ok how long my series will be so I am beginning my series from 0 then it should be it should not uh, cross the limit which has been given by user so in the looping technique what I am doing is first I am adding the value of 0 and 1 or a and b the value of a is 0 ok so first thing we will add 0 then b is 1 here I will write 1 so your c becomes 0 plus 1 that is 1 then I am replacing the values I am exchanging the values as you can see it over here first a was 0 then it b was 1 then afterwards a became 1 and b again stayed this this when 1 came over here after adding whatever we got 
then afterwards our a this value became 1 and this value became 2 then this value became a this value became b likewise you are swiping your numbers in a and b that's what we are doing we are adding them then we are swiping we are exchanging the numbers we are going forward like first we have 0 1 then when you add them you get 1 then these two are our a and b now afterwards when you add these two you get these numbers these two are our a and b now then you get when you add 2 and 3 you get this number then this is your a and b values when you add 3 and 2 you get 5 now your a and b is this values so likewise your values goes on this is what you are doing you are just swapping the numbers let me remove it and uh, let's just run to see if your program works enter the length of the series i will say 7 i want my length to be 7 but it has displayed only two numbers why because we are not displaying the numbers displayed by the sum okay we are adding them but we are not displaying them so for that what you require is printf percent d c because we are saving the sum in c so every time this gets added and we swipe it we are displaying the number in c okay so now let's f9 run it i want my series to be 7 enter see 0 1 0 plus 1 is 1 1 plus 1 is 2 2 plus 1 is 3 3 plus 2 is 5 8 13 21 let me there's some space in between to make it clearer okay now let's run it again say i want it to be 6 0 1 2 3 8 30 okay so this is how your uh, fibonacci series works and uh, you can make any changes if you want you can say that the values initial values of a and b are 0 and 1 then the for the series generated by the uh, by adding them is so and so you can play with your string as the way you want but this is the for loop which we are going to use in this program hope you understood the program and thanks for watching it